screennow.com and I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, amazing multicolor printer. It's real simple. Uh, but I did make changes. Uh, this I, I created back in 1995 but I I made a few changes here. So if you have an old model, we've sold thousands, literally thousands of, of these over the years and they get passed around. So if you have one of these and you want to know how you can update it uh, real easily. I'm going to show you that too. Basically the printer can be bought by itself now and you see I have this one frame and I've just bolted it um, right here to the edge of the table so you can get at it and so if you have a flash dryer you can pull it in. Um, so we're, we're starting to sell just the printer. Alright what I want to point out here are these pins basically how this works is you put um, your screen on here and slip it over these pins. Can you see the pins here? See how that slips right over? Okay, and then when you adjust these, you register it. It's really unique. You register exactly where you want it, and you tighten these. And now when you lift this off, see sometimes it's a little hard, so what I do is I push up like that and set this aside and you can put the next color down, the next screen, and uh, print. But let me just show you what I did here um, to help out. Okay, you see this is a pin that you get in the kit. And normally, it just has two of these. Um, these are called jam nuts. They're smaller. You see how they're, that one's a normal uh, size nut but this is a jam nut they're just they're they're almost half the size if you have an older model or you didn't get it with three of these on there this is a three eighths inch hex head nut get it at home depot they're about 10 cents each you want two of those so what you're going to do bring the camera down over here i want to see if we can see how i have the big that big nut is on the bottom and then the two jam nuts are on the top. Okay, so how I adjusted them is I laid a screen. Okay, bring it down here. We want to, I laid a screen down and can you see those nuts and that, all that? Okay. Um, what I want to show is, now let me get a three, uh, Three eighths. Um, all right, jazz painted. Okay, so three eighths. Um, here, I'm going to pull this back off and loosen this up. So what I did here is I adjusted this one all the way to the top. So that's adjusted to the top. And then I loosen these up. And when I put a screen on there, I want to adjust this one here. So now when this is like this, it is laying on top of that top nut. But I did that by adjusting it like that, then tighten this bottom. And it may be different. You have to do each side, and you're only going to do this once for the thickness of the screen. But what that allows to do, show this knob. When I loosen this, now this plate is not um, falling down, uh, which was causing it to, uh, to bind. So now that that doesn't fall down, 
this should lift off easier. See, it's still a little bad. So what I do is I, I lift this off like that, right? Another thing I do is sometimes this bar here is at a slight angle like that. And so the pins are leaning that way. So what I do, can you see the whole screen here? Okay, I lift up a little like this to help them slide off easier. And that is the only thing you want to, and once you, you do that, it's even, I, I tend to just do this, it, it comes off easier, but the action of kind of slightly doing that to all of them at first, you only do that once, they lift off. So that's basically it. But at this point now, you can just buy the printer by itself, and you can um, buy sets of these uh, brackets two at a time with the knob and everything. Um, the other thing is, uh, someone called the other day, I wanted to point out, that the hole I'm drilling here is a little bigger than 3 eighths. And the reason is that's a square, this is a, called a carriage bolt, and that's square. And what happens, if you drill the hole too big, um, um, the other thing, you know what, he was putting a washer here. Don't put a washer there, put, uh, um, put the washer on top. Then the knob. And that square piece stops it. He uh, drilled the hole too big, so when he was turning, it wasn't tightening. You need this to be able to tighten to lift off. So, um, so that's that on that. So I hope that helps out um, on taking that all off. And that is it. Go to silkscreennow.com if you want any more information on silk screening. Thanks for coming by.